Welcome to our series, English Learning Through Stories. Today, let's travel back in time to the Sixth Hung King to hear a story about one of Vietnam's folk heroes, Thang Zong. Are you ready? Let's start! In the reign of Emperor Hung Vuong VI, Vietnam was a peaceful and prosperous country. People were happy. Then suddenly, from the north, came the An invaders. On the way to invade our country, they burned down cities, murdered innocent people, and committed all kinds of cruel acts. They burnt and destroyed most of the cities and made life miserable for the people. The army of the emperor could not stop the enemy. So Emperor Hung Vuong sent messengers everywhere, trying to find someone who could drive the An invaders out. At that time, in the village of Pudong, there was an elderly couple who were very unhappy, because their son was three years old, but never sat up or spoke. One day, the Emperor's messenger came to the village and gave the king's order. Zong, as the boy was named, sat up and told his parents that he wanted to talk to the messenger. Before the messenger could say anything, Zong asked the man to return to the capital and tell the emperor that he needed an iron horse, iron armor, and an iron sword to fight the An invaders. At the request of the messenger, the king ordered all the blacksmiths to work day and night, melting down the iron into an iron horse, a suit of iron armor, and a long iron sword. During this time, at the village of Fudong, Zong started to eat more and more each day, to the point where the villagers had to bring more rice to feed Zong. He suddenly grew up to be a giant. When the Imperial Guards brought the iron horse, the armor, and the sword to Fudong, Zong said goodbye to his mother and villagers, then quickly jumped on horseback. Zong rode off on his horse. The iron horse roared like thunder and breathed fire. Behind were soldiers carrying swords and lances bound to fight the enemies. When he saw the enemies, Zong sped forward, charging straight into the An invaders. The fire from the nostrils of the iron horse burned many enemy soldiers to death. Zong struck at the enemies with his iron sword. The enemy soldiers soon broke ranks and fled, leaving behind them dead and wounded. But the enemy general and Wuong still tried to shout for more troops to come. Zong fought harder and stronger. The enemy's corpses were scattered. Suddenly, the sword broke, and Zong immediately used the bamboo in the village as a weapon against the enemy. Soon, the enemy troops had dispersed and fled everywhere. The invaders were defeated. Zong ordered his soldiers to return to the capital to bring the victorious news to the emperor. Then Zong rode his iron horse up the Sokson mountain, where he removed his armor and disappeared. People believed he went up to heaven. In memory of the hero, Emperor Hung Wung gave orders to build Zong Temple in the countryside. He also awarded Zong the title of Heavenly King of Fudong. The temple is located right where Zong died, and every year there is a festival to honor Saint Zong. Khi Giáng sinh đã cận kề rồi, hãy để những ngày cuối năm của bé trở nên vui nhộn, sôi động và đáng nhớ hơn bao giờ hết cùng My Dear Santa vào ngày 17 tháng 12 tại trung tâm Bingo Readers, tầng 5, 139 cầu giấy, Hà Nội. Đăng ký tham gia miễn phí tại link dưới đây ngay hôm nay nhé!
Christmas.